Business credit secrets revealed. Did you know that business credit can change your life and more importantly, getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in your business's name can change your entire business. It changed mine and I'm gonna show you how it can change yours too. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step detailed process on how to get a great business credit score fast. I'm going to share with you some fast and free ways to get higher limits. And I'm going to share with you my biggest secret on how to get millions of dollars in your business's name. So there are so many benefits to business credit. One of the things that I learned in my business is that I did not establish business credit early on and it really hurt me. When I became a full-time entrepreneur, meaning I quit my job and started doing real estate investing and doing all of this stuff full-time, I was using my personal credit score. Essentially, I started using my credit cards and things like that to run Facebook and Instagram ads and even to buy letters and put out mailers and things like that. And my credit score tanked because one of the things that I learned is when you start using your personal credit cards, a lot of times when you get closer to those limits, your score automatically goes down. In fact, I had like a 750 credit score. And when I started using all of my credit cards, my score went below 600 and they even started shutting down my credit card limits and making the limit where it was much closer to the balance that I had. And it hurt my credit score even more. It was awful. I needed to run ads for my business. I needed to invest to get more clients, but at the same time, using my personal credit was a disaster. So I'm gonna share with you how you can use business credit really fast and how it changed my entire business and how it can change yours before you even get started. One of the biggest secrets about business credit is that it is really easy to establish. So easy, in fact, that I kick myself that it took me so many years. I started my business in 2014 and I didn't start building business credit until like 2017, 2018. So in fact, I was really late to the game. I had heard about business credit, but I never did any of the things that I needed to do. And that was a huge mistake. Now that I have business credit, I'm able to get more properties. I'm able to fund more advertising, more market, get more clients. I've 10 x my business just using business credit. Just think about this for a second. If someone gave you hundreds of thousands of dollars in your business's name, and as you use those funds, those credit cards and those lines of credit, it didn't affect your personal credit score. Imagine how much more you could do in your business, how many more ads you can run, how many more clients you could get, how much more inventory or equipment that you could buy. That is the game changer of business credit. One of the easiest things to do with business credit that I didn't even know was actually just have a business. You're going to need an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp. In other words, you need to register your business with the Secretary of State. Then you need an EIN number. This is absolutely free. You can go to the IRS and get this. And this will work like your business's social security number. This is the number that you will put on applications instead of your own social security number. It is a game changer. Let me get into that for you. Another big secret with business credit is how much higher the credit limits are. OMG. I'm not going to get into the specifics on how to build business credit because I have made an entire playlist teaching you that. Make sure you click out that entire playlist on how you will step by step build the business credit. This video is more about some of the secrets and the tips. So make sure you watch this video and you watch that playlist. But another big secret that I really learned was about higher credit limits. OMG, like I said, I was using my own Discover cards and Capital One cards and things like that. But when I started getting business credit cards like Chase Business Spark credit card and American Expresses and Capital One Spark card and all of these business credit cards, my limits in some cases were 10 times what they were giving me on my regular personal credit card. Just in this example, I had a Capital One card and at the time I had like a 750 score. So my credit limit on my Capital One card was like maybe $10,000. But on my Capital One Spark card for my business, they immediately, as soon as they approved me, gave me a limit of 25,000. 
Now listen to that really clearly. I had worked many years to get that Capital One credit card to a limit of $10,000. But as soon as I opened up a business credit card, again, not even associated with my social security number, they gave me $25,000 on a business that was just a year and a half old. It's crazy. And the businesses that I had that were three and four years old, OMG. I was able to get even higher credit limits and get business credit cards for any business that I started. It's incredible. Let me tell you the next thing. Another big secret with business credit that I learned and I absolutely love is it fixed the mistake that I made earlier. It doesn't affect your personal credit score. Like I said, as I was using my personal credit cards, my credit score just started to drop. I don't even really know why they penalize you for using your credit cards if you pay the bill. I wasn't paying any of my personal credit cards late and it was still affecting my credit score. But when I got business credit and I used my business credit cards, not only did it not affect my personal credit score, my business credit score went up because it's a totally different system. With business credit, you are rewarded for making the payments on those business cards. In other words, they are looking to see how well your business handles and manages debt. But in the personal credit world, they're making sure that your debt ratio doesn't get too high. They have this crazy algorithm that none of us know where the credit bureaus estimate how much money you make in relationship to all of the debts that you have on your credit report. And this affects your credit score. But in the business credit world, using those credit cards and having those balances really close to the limit does not lower your score. In fact, in many cases, it increases the score and you can have a really high business credit score on all three of the business credit bureaus by using those business credit cards. The number four big secret to business credit is that you can do it over and over again. In other words, for every business that you have, you can create a business credit profile for that business and get business funds in that business's name. There's no limit. When you have your own personal social security and your own personal credit cards, you can only use those credit cards in one social security number one time. You're only you. But if you create other businesses and other business entities, they are their own thing. They are their own entity. They will have their own EIN number. They will have their own business credit report number. They'll have their own Dun & Bradstreet number. So in other words, you can do this over and over again. In fact, I have students that get multiple businesses with multiple business credit and they can get millions of dollars in business funding in a matter of months, not years. And the last big secret, and I absolutely love this and I hope you stay to the end and you're getting this is, you can have bad personal credit and good business credit. Oh yeah, you can have bad personal credit, foreclosures, bankruptcies, and all this other stuff and start to establish business credit. Now, it's a lot easier and faster if you have a good personal credit score because in many cases, they will just look at your personal credit scores and your personal credit cards and give you a business credit card with a much higher limit with just a great personal credit score. Now, that's one way. Or you can have bad personal credit and then just build business credit in a few months and still get business funding. You can have bad personal credit and good business credit. That's a game changer. Make sure you watch my videos so that you can learn all about business credit and check out that entire playlist about how to build business credit fast and how to build business credit with a bad personal credit score. I have an entire playlist for you. Make sure you check that out. So if you want to learn more about how to build business credit and how to make lots of money in real estate, check out my free training at noellesfreetraining.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E-S, freetraining.com. In this training, I give you my exact formula to making money without losing any, and in many cases, without using any of your personal credit. Check out that free training at Noel's Free Training because I wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel, to your success.